Hey guys, just want to talk about whether I think you should take sunglasses or not on the Shigoku Henro. I didn't take sunglasses because I lost my sunglasses about three weeks before I went. And obviously I, I thought, oh great, I'm going to have to get some more. But I'm really picky and I, I would have needed to try you know, lots of pairs on and whatnot. And then I'd also read something in one of the websites saying you shouldn't take sunglasses because it's, you know you lose this connection with people and you won't get osetai which are the um the sort of offerings the food offerings usually that the people of shikoku give to to pilgrims but i i think that it wouldn't make much difference at all to be honest i went you know most of the time like i think the first time i got something there was you know someone they can sort of tell what you that you're a pilgrim just by looking at you, you know, wearing a big backpack, you got the staff, and, um, and you, you also probably have a white vest on or something. And obviously, especially if you're a foreigner, you have, you're a foreigner walking there, they know you're a pilgrim. I had a guy sort of yell out behind me, excuse me, wait, and then run up, and give me a can of uh, coffee. So I don't think it'd make much difference at all, to be honest, whether you have eye contact or not. And there is a lot of, there's a lot of, uh, walking, you know, um, in open places along the sea where it can be very glary, or as the Japanese like to say, mabushi. Mabushi is like bright, glary. So, I mean, I had a hat. You're going to need a hat as well, but, uh, but really, I, I, I do remember towards the end just thinking, oh, I'm, over, I'm over the glare. And yeah, I definitely recommend you take glasses if you usually wear them then yeah take the glasses definitely